this video, I will tell you about the measure commands in AutoCAD. Located under the Home tab in the Utilities panel, the measure commands can be used to see the properties, the measures of the objects on our screen. We have a few different methods here. For example, when we use the Quick method, it will detect the clicking point on the object and show us its most logical property. We'll talk about this last. Now, we can use the distance feature in order to measure the length of an object. For example, we can measure the length of a part here and directly see its value. If you would like, we can do it on a metric object. Click here, click distance again, click this point from here, and you'll see that it shows a value of about 31,000. Now, right down below, we can continue. There's a radius command for measuring radius. If you want, we can draw a circle and measure its radius. When I click radius and click this part, it will show me the radius and diameter here. I only have to mark the object of which I want to measure the radius. If there's an arc on my screen, then I can use the radius method in the same way to learn about its radius and diameter. So, if we have a line with an angle on our screen, we can calculate its angle by using the angle feature and click on these two lines. When I click on it, it will show me the reference between them. The parts don't necessarily have to touch each other. I can click an external object like this and see the angle here as well. But the feature here is that it doesn't write it on the screen. It doesn't, doesn't save it. When I press escape after seeing the 96 degrees here, it disappears. So if I need to measure something aimed at drawing, then we will need to use the dimensions command, which we'll learn about in the future. It also has an area calculation feature. We can use it to calculate the area of any object. We just need to click it like this. If this part was enclosed, then it would show us the area of this green part you see here as unit squared. And you can also see the perimeter of it as well. We can work with a smaller area. We go into distance again. And measure this length. The length is 380 units. I go on. Let's measure the radius and diameter of the circle. Radius of 45, diameter of 90 units, as we can see. We can use the angle features to see the angle between this part and this part. 62 degrees. Now let's calculate an area. Use the area command. Click on these three points and as you can see I can calculate this area. When I press enter you can see that it shows me the area of about 14,000. And a perimeter of 773 units. If there's an object on the screen, for example let's draw an object with polyline. How do we calculate the area of this? Here, we can enter the area command and use the object feature to select this part. As you can see, it directly shows me the area of the object. This is an easier method, but it needs to be a closed object. It needs to be drawn with polyline or a single area created with region or boundary. So this way, we can calculate an area like this. Finally, we'll learn about the volume command. Of course, this is useful on solid models. We can calculate it in a 3D environment. We can use it on perspective objects or objects with depth and calculate their volumes. And when we multiply it by its density, we can directly find the weight of the object. Let's look at the quick feature. When I get close on a part with my mouse, 
it directly shows all of its measures on the screen. This feature is very useful and innovative. When we just get close on the object, it will show us the measures of the most logical object it sees. We can see the measures of our parts very quickly. As I said, these don't remain on the screen, it's just a quick way to get information about things like angle and length. It even shows the angles here, as you can see here with 40 and 50 degrees. In this video, we told you about the measure commands in AutoCAD. We hope to see you in the next video.